Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to create a connection between the cloud-based data warehouse Snowflake and Microsoft Excel. By connecting Excel to Snowflake, means we can grab data from Snowflake from within Excel. We don't even have to go to the web browser, which makes it much easier, much more user-friendly. means we can play around with our data from Snowflake in Excel using all of our Excel tools. And whenever the data updates in Snowflake, it's also going to update in Excel. So we're, we're sure we're always looking at the latest data. We don't have to worry about re-downloading data from Snowflake and bringing it back into Excel. All we'll have to do once this connection works is just hit refresh and we'll, we'll have the latest data. So to set up this connection between Excel and Snowflake, we're going to use an Open Database Connectivity or ODBC driver. And that driver is going to have our Snowflake information stored on it, so Excel can look to that driver and it knows where to go to get to our Snowflake account and it can log in for us. So to get a Snowflake ODBC driver, we can download it from the Snowflake web app. All we have to do is come to the web app, which you can see in the background here, click help, click download, and go to the ODBC driver here on the left hand tab. Then we have a couple of options that we can choose depending on what type of computer we have. I have a Windows computer, so I would click on the left wand here, on the left um, button here. I've already installed this on my machine though, so I'll just skip that step. But basically, click the button depending on what computer you have and follow the download and install instructions. I'm going to click done. So after you have the, the driver on your computer, we're going to set it up. So to do that, Click on your start menu and just type ODBC. ODBC data sources is the program that we want. So you can see here, ODBC data source administrator has all our database connection drivers on it. I have one here called Snowflake, you won't yet, but in this step, we're gonna add that one and set it up. So first thing to do is click add, and then after you've successfully installed um, Snowflake driver in the first step, you're going to have the Snowflake DSII driver available to you. So just click that and click Finish. Next, it's going to give you a lot of empty dialog boxes, and those are where we put our login information and our Snowflake account details. So on the first box, the data source, we're going to try, um, type Snowflake. Snowflake with a capital S. Next one down, user, is our Snowflake username. So we're just going to type the same username that we use to normally access Snowflake. And next, password. Now before I type in my password, there's two types of ways you can access your Snowflake account. One is through a username password combination, which I've set up for my Snowflake account. You could also have your Snowflake account set up so you're using an external browser authentication. Basically that's going to look to the login details that you use to sign into your computer to make sure you are who you are, not a, a password that you type in when you log in uh, to Snowflake. So if I had an external browser authentication set up, I'd go down to Authenticator here without having to type a password and just type external browser, or one word. I don't have that set up. So for my one, I'm just going to type my Snowflake password. The next thing is server, and the server can be found from the URL in the Snowflake web app. So I'm just going to copy everything to put in that server box. Everything from after HTTPS double slash through to the end of dot com. And paste that in server. After that, there's database and there's schema. So basically I can specify when Excel is connecting to my Snowflake data, which database and which schema within that I want to connect to. You can notice on my left hand tab here, I have a few different databases and schemas within those databases. And I might want to connect to different ones each time. So I can actually leave these blank. These aren't required. By leaving them blank, it's um, makes you a bit more flexible to choose different databases and schemas every time you connect from Excel to Snowflake. After those two is the warehouse. 
So the warehouse can be found just here on the Snowflake web app. My warehouse is compute wh. After warehouse is role. So role can be found just next to warehouse. My role is account admin. So when um, logging into Snowflake from Excel, it's always going to use this role and this warehouse. If I want to change that, I'm going to have to come back to my ODBC data source administrator. And that is all the information that we need for now. We can test just to make sure that works. And that's successful. That's good. So click OK and um, click OK here as well. So now we have the ODBC um, driver for Snowflake installed and set up on our computer. That means that we're ready to use Excel to connect to Snowflake on this computer. If I were to do it on another computer, I'd have to repeat that setup. But for now, um, that's all done and we won't have to touch that ODBC connection for a while. Now let's open Excel and see if we can connect to our Snowflake data. So I'm just going to open up a blank Excel workbook, go to data, go to get data, from other sources and from ODBC. After clicking that, this drop down menu is going to appear and we can click Snowflake after we've set it up already. After that, this window is going to appear and this is going to only appear the first time that you try and do the Snowflake connection. So as I said before, we can have a username and password type login or we could have the external browser authentication. If we have the external browser authentication, we go to Windows and go use my current credentials to get my computer login details and click connect. For my case, I've got the username and password. So I'm just going to type in my Snowflake username and password, click connect. So that should be the only time you have to do that. Now we can see my Snowflake databases, which is really good. So I can click into a database. I'll go example DB and click into my example schema here and have a look at my table example weather data. So now it's given me a preview of my example weather data, which is a table that contains date, city, and temperature and rainfall data. And I can go ahead and load that straight into my Excel table. It's not actually that much data, so that would be fine in this case. But in most cases, when you're getting data from Snowflake, you're probably drawing it a lot. So probably wise in most cases to click transform data. That's going to let you do some SQL-like queries and operations on your data before bringing it into Snowflake. So what I can do, I won't explain all the tools of Power Query, which is what you're looking at here. That would be a whole other video tutorial. But I can just add a simple filter, like maybe I want my temperature um, data to be greater than 20 degrees Celsius. So that means my data is a bit more specific to what I want before I bring it into bring it into Excel. So now I've done what I want to do, I can click close and load here. Now we're going to get this queries and connections pane on the right. It's going to load my data in here as an Excel table. We also have this query pane um, query tab that pops up at the top as well. So if I wanted to make any edits to that query that I just did when I filtered the temperature data, I can click edit here. I can also edit some properties about how often I want that data to refresh. So by clicking in here, we can see that Snowflake connection is refreshing um, at the moment, not automatically. I could set it to refresh every few minutes, or I can set it to refresh every time that I open the file. At the moment, I'm having to click refresh to refresh my data. So let's, let's actually test to see if, if we change our data in Snowflake and hit refresh, does it add to our Excel data? So I'll go back to Snowflake, and here I have a line of SQL that's just going to insert some data into my example weather data table. I can put this forward one day to enter some new data, add a temperature entry, making sure that it's larger than 20. So we see it in our filter table, and then maybe 5 mils of rain. So I run that, and it seems to have worked. I'll just 
check it in my snowflake table, we can see, yep, that last line is an entry for Christchurch for a 25 degree day and 5 mils of rain. So going back to Excel, I can hit refresh here. There it is, the latest data. So I hope that's, that's been helpful in um, figuring out how to get your Snowflake data into Excel. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to add a comment. Thanks very much.